The 1889 Brighton Town Hall is one of the most prominent landmarks in Island Pond. For many years, it has been heavily used for a multitude of activities, including town offices and meeting space, the library, a bank, social service agencies, basketball games, theatrical productions, and more. Over the years, original architectural elements of the building were taken down and the building was enveloped in asphalt shingle siding and later vinyl siding. With most of its historic elements covered from view, the building became an unattractive white box. The building was expensive to heat and energy audits indicated significant savings could be had by tightening the thermal envelope. Only a few, inspired by historic photographs, imagined what the building had once been and could be again. It wasn't until 2010 when the town received a federal grant to perform energy efficiency work that the idea of restoring the building to its former grandeur seemed possible. When the siding came off in 2011, both the challenges and possibilities were visible. The original wood siding was in bad shape and needed to be replaced. A rotted sill along the front of the building also had to be addressed. Yet community members could see the two-story round-headed windows with ornamental spandrels, a bay window, denticulated cornices, and corner pilasters. With the unmistakable evidence before them, the community gained a new understanding of how architectural detail and craftsmanship help an important building stand proud in the community. Town Administrator Joel Cope masterfully pulled together nearly $600,000 in significant grant funds to get this massive project underway. In addition to federal and state grants, the voters of this small town, with a population of 1,260, generously appropriated up to $120,000 towards the project. With architectural plans and guidance provided by Black River Design in Montpelier, Construction was completed in August 2013. Today, the Town Hall's improved energy performance, restored historic detailing, and majestic appearance now honor its important civic and social role in this small town in Vermont's Northeast Kingdom. <laughs>